Good morning, it's Mama Lindsay from the Squirrel House, and it is that time again. It is time for the once a month grocery shopping trip. So I have already placed an online order for Sam's Club and Hy-Vee again, because we're doing more of that shrimp, which is so delicious. And now I'm going to go into Aldi. So I have my mask, um, I'm still making sure I'm masked, and I'm a hand sanitizer, um, and I'm all dolled up today, you can see, because it is James's and I's, it's Daddy Squirrel and I's anniversary today. So I got myself all dolled up, um, pretty much just to eat at home and do things with our kids. But that's okay. And then in other news, I was also called back into work. So I only have a handful of offices that are open, but I did get a phone call today from an office who would like me to come in and see them. And so I'm gonna do that this afternoon when Lyndon goes down for a nap. Um, it's here in town, so it shouldn't be any big deal. I'll just um, hop on over there with my mask and use my own hand sanitizer. That's one thing that they haven't given us yet for work. So um, starting to put my toes in the water for that, although it seems like cases continue to ramp up. So we'll see. Um, it's a kind of a week by week basis for my work. They will let us, they'll tell us to go out and then um, they'll call us back in. So anyway, um, that's gonna be my first foray into going back and see my customers, which will be really nice. I really like this customer. She's really, really sweet. So anyway, I will show you all the stuff. I'm getting at Aldi. I actually forgot my list at home. I was running out the house so fast. So, um, I know pretty much everything that was on it and I pretty much know exactly what we need. So hopefully I don't forget anything. But if I do, you know, we can always do a mid-month. It's not gonna be a big deal. So, all right, let's go shopping. Hello everyone, the Aldi run is done. It is pouring down rain. So I parked my van right here under this awning to unload my groceries so that I wouldn't get completely soaking wet after I did my hair for our anniversary. But that's okay, that's the way it goes. Anyway, I'll show you what I got from Sam's Club and Hy-Vee in a little bit. Okay, bye. So much for having my hair nice and ready for my anniversary. It is pouring down rain. It's been pouring down rain since I was in the store. I was kind of trying to dilly-dally, not go too fast, not be too much in a hurry. I didn't pack up my groceries super fast and it is still pouring down rain and you can see my poor hair it is just a mess so hopefully the rest of the day clears up and we can get things going um i still have to pick up my high v order and my sam's club order i'll probably do that after i'm done at my office with my customer so anyway i'll show you everything i got when i get home thunder thunder everywhere pouring down rain i mean it's insane it's insane right now I am home from the rain and we got everything set out. So let me show you what I got. Um, the cat food, <laughs> staple, something we get every single month, um, enough for all the cats. I got um, vegetable oil this time. And um, this is actually my favorite brand of dressing, but I've never had the cilantro line, but Clayton really likes cilantro. So I thought that would be nice for um, a salad dressing. A thing of sugar, a, uh, another jar of pickles. James didn't like the salsa I got last time, so I got this one to try something different. Um, I got this raspberry jelly. Um, they still don't have my favorite peanut butter, which is such a bummer. Um, I like to try to find peanut butter that doesn't have palm oil in it, and I can't find any peanut butter at Aldi that doesn't have palm oil. There was one kind that didn't, um, before and it's been out of stock for gosh two months maybe so it's kind of annoying um, two of these orange juices and then one thing of grape juice Clayton's been making his own little concoction and he's been using grape juice so um, got one of those they were limiting bread to two of each variety so I got two of the ba bagels plain bagels which is what Clayton likes um, two of the hot dog buns, which is what we usually get, so that's not a burden. Um, two hamburger buns, which is what we usually get again, so no burden. Um, I did get one thing of biscuits. Clayton really likes biscuits and gravy. So we've been doing a lot of um, like 
turkey wraps and things like that for lunch and especially if we're on the go so I wanted this for myself um, and then I ended up getting four of the just regular flour tortillas for um, the rest of everyone in our house uh, so we, we've been doing lots of turkey wraps lots of um, just whatever we have leftover wraps and then of course our taco night and then um, I did buy some bread this time some wheat sandwich bread and some English muffins it's so hot out I don't really want to heat up the oven and cook bread so I'm hot and lazy in the summertime so <laughs> um, here are two things of half and half for our iced coffee three things of heavy whipping cream we can use that for coffee or for cooking dishes uh, like fettuccine which is really yummy in the crock pot uh, five things of pink milk kefir one two three four five um, three dozen eggs our chickens obviously are way too young to lay yet so three dozen eggs I'm getting another 18 at high V just because that's um, they only let me get three at Aldi here uh, two things are cream cheese one is I like them on bagels and then we also use one for fettuccine which was really good um, this is the sliced cheese so pepper jack Colby Jack, Munster, and provolone that we've been using on the tortilla wraps. Um, and then some block cheese because in the summer we do a couple times a month meat and cheese dinner with veggies and fruit and super easy when we don't want to do anything, cook anything, and get hot if we're already hot. So uh, we, I just got a variety. Swiss, Monterey, Colby, Sharp Cheddar, and Colby Jack. Cottage cheese, which is really good in the summer for lunches good protein um, mozzarella cheese that was good on our um, meat and cheese night they did have this Italian style back in stock so I got one of those and one Mexican cheese we have um, plenty of other frozen cheese downstairs so I just got two things of um, bag cheese this this time our favorite yogurt was back in stock so we got, I actually got three James sometimes accidentally uses this for his smoothies and then we don't have enough for when we want to have yogurt in the morning so I got three of those um, they did have the plain yogurt which is what Clay, uh, James usually uses in the smoothies so um, a plain yogurt and then this Greek yogurt which is the most expensive out of the three but we use it in um, like dips and tzatziki and um, in our mac and cheese so that's more for cooking is what we'll use that for um, I got two things of mixed vegetables we haven't gotten broccoli for a while so I got two of broccoli and um, two green beans so we'll be set on those I got a big bag of crinkle cut fries and of seasoned fries um, three gallons of milk they're all dated 715 now it is working okay for me to freeze some so I usually freeze the milk I get from Sam's so we'll probably drink this first um, here's ice cream in the summer I do treat the kids and get them ice cream so um, they had these Snickers ice cream cones which looked really good um, Italian ice which looked really yummy and um, Twix cookies and cream ice cream bars so those look delicious as well um, for meat, I only got one thing of pork sausage. They did not have any of my favorite bacon, which is a bummer because it's getting, our tomatoes are coming into season. And we like to do BLTs, but I got one of these. I'll probably just freeze it in case we need it sometime for, um, you know, sausage, uh, biscuits and gravy or for um, pizza night. And then they did have chicken breasts, so I will freeze these. I'll put them in the fridge for now, but I'll freeze them. You can see 189 a pound, 4.98 pounds, so nine dollars and 41 cents. Um, they had cherries, a pretty good uh, price per pound. And they were limiting two bags, and we eat cherries like they're going out of style. So, got two bags of those, um, two bags of these uh, grapes. I did end up freezing some of those grapes that I got last month, and oh my gosh, what a delicious summer treat! Uh, even for Lyndon, I'll just cut them in half frozen and he likes to eat them. So two bags of limes, 
two bags of lemons. We've actually been doing our own lemonade, and it's like a lemon limeade, and it's really yummy. And I haven't been able to find lemonade at Aldi, so I know I could get it at Hy-Vee or somewhere else, but um, we just have been squeezing our own, which has been kind of nice. Some bananas, not too many. In the summer, these seem to go bad faster, just like the heat. Um, one bag of apples. We still had some left over from last month. Um, three, three containers of strawberries and one container of blueberries. So we eat those mostly in yogurt with yogurt and granola for breakfast and it's really, really yummy. Um, I did get a thing of little oranges, which we'll probably try to eat first because um, they feel kind of soft already, but they're good that way. And then um, some nectarines. I, I usually like to get peaches and nectarines from a peach farm here in town, or just outside of town. But that with our late frost this year, they didn't, they don't, their crop is not as good. So they said maybe in August they'll have more. Um, but for right now, they don't, they're not open very much and they're not selling very many peaches or nectarines, which is a super bummer. Um, this I love. So um, organic romaine heart, lettuce and it lasts all month and actually I, I eat a lot of salads in the summer so um, I actually went through all of it so I got two this time anticipating that I'll do more salads these are two avocados those always go bad so quick so I just don't get that many because we can't eat them fast enough um, a thing of green beans which we'll probably try to eat this weekend uh, for 4th of July I like to get my corn from the farmer's market, but they had this corn there. So um, if I see a roadside stand or something, I'll probably stop and get some more fresh sweet corn. But um, at least we'll have some for this weekend if we don't find it or we don't get to the market. So um, they were limiting cucumbers, which I think is weird, but they were huge. So I got two, two cucumbers. My kids eat cucumbers like crazy. Uh, one thing of broccoli, we have one thing of broccoli actually outside that needs to be picked, so um, we need to do that. One thing of celery, just for like, you know, meat and cheese night. Um, some peppers, again, good fresh or cooked on kebabs. And then um, a red onion and a white onion. So again, good, and we, we put onions in all sorts of things. So that is what we got from Aldi. I'll show you what um, we got from Sam's and from Hy-Vee when I get back from picking those up. All right, after running around like a crazy lady, I finally have the Sam's Club order. Not the Hy-Vee yet, but the Sam's Club. That's why I like to go out all at one time. I, I don't like this going out and coming back thing, but that's fine. So, uh, we need some more single serving chips. The Clayton and James and Lyndon all ate a bunch of those this month, this past month, so we got another one of those. Clayton ate all of his peanuts that he got, so I got him more peanuts. Um, we are getting down to the last couple jars of this, and who knows how, how much we need, but we'll have it, it lasts. Um, James asked for frozen pizza, so I got those for him. Um, I got two. Of these milks these milks freeze really well I think maybe there's you know enough space that they can expand really easily um, we were out of Sprite so I got a big thing of Sprite from Sam's Club and um, a thing of Coke James usually likes Pepsi um, but they did not have any Pepsi at our Sam's Club so Coke is it is it and he's not really that particular so that's nice um, got a big thing another big thing of berries we're, we should be good for frozen fruit now for a little bit. And they did have sliced strawberries this month. Last month they did not have those. Those were out of stock, so um, that's nice. Um, we got more of these brats. They're actually really good. So, and um, easy. It's one package per meal. We usually have a few left over then for either breakfast or lunch the next day. And so that has been really nice. Um, this salted butter was back. 
So for the last few months, salted butter has been um, out of stock at Sam's Club, so that's really super nice. Uh, more baby carrots. I love sugar snap peas. This is not my favorite brand. The picture they have online is of a different brand, and I like that one better, but we'll try these. Hopefully they'll be okay. Sometimes they just get too tough. So anyway, that's been our experience with this brand. That's why I don't order those all the time, although we love them. Um, I got some of these. The boys like these when they're frozen, um, and we call them ice cream, although it's just like having yogurt. Um, another thing of sour cream, and I got this big thing of feta because um, I love feta, and I like it on my salads, and so it goes pretty quick when I'm uh, eating it on my salads. This, we needed more toilet bowl cleaner. Not very exciting. Um, four packages, so that'll last us forever. Um, this, we were kind of running out of crackers with, for our meat and cheese, and veggie, veggie and fruit days. So now we'll have plenty of crackers. We actually ate that whole other tub of pretzels. So um, got a new tub of pretzels. And then I got lots of chips at Sam's Club today. Cheetos, we're kind of getting low on those. Um, we kind of tend to go through one of these each month. And um, this is really good with the ranch dip I make out of sour cream. And I actually did put in some Greek yogurt last time and that was really good. And then, I don't know if we'll be able to keep these fresh, but these chips are so good. So um, we'll see how we do at keeping them fresh. So. And then finally, James's Monster Energy drink. So um, that's what we got at Sam's Club this month. And um, I'm off to Hy-Vee to pick up that one, that final order. And then I'm gonna be done. I'm done for the day, I'm done, almost. Okay, this is Hy-Vee. So you can see we got another big tub of chocolate and vanilla ice cream which satisfies everyone in this house so that's perfect that was on sale even and we got another thing of bomb pops which is another thing that makes everybody in this house pretty happy um two more gallons of milk i've already put those ones from sam's club in the freezer so hopefully we'll get these drank um more noosa yogurt um so that's always a nice snack a nice little treat and more eggs because uh, Aldi only lets me get three dozen. This is more bratwurst, and you guys are gonna think I'm crazy because we bought those bratwurst from Sam's. But these are bratwurst that James likes to put in the smoker. They're not smoked, and um, he likes them that way. So they're in two different packages, which is really nice. This is for tonight, and this is a huge splurge, but I didn't have time to get out any beef, um, so I bought some steaks. Um, at tenderloin steaks at Hy-Vee. And I got some little steak butters for our anniversary dinner tonight. You know, we're not going out to dinner. We're not ordering in. We can just make these tonight. If I would have had time at home today, I would have put out some of our beef from our freezer, but I didn't have time at home today. So um, I just picked those up. And then here's our yummy Gulf shrimp that we will use for our shrimp dishes. Um, I did get some more potatoes. These were actually a pretty good price at Hy-Vee, which is um, usually unheard of. Uh, Sam's Club did not have any raspberries, so I got some raspberries. They need to be eaten quick, and they will be at my house. I got another honeydew melon, which Lyndon and I are the only ones who like that. I got some fresh sweet corn at Hy-Vee for tonight's dinner, so we will eat that tonight. Um, we had that other corn as well, but we'll eat that this weekend. Um, two things of fettuccine. We did fettuccine Alfredo one time last month, and James cooked another box of fettuccine, so we were out of that. I love this bow tie pasta for um, pasta salad, and I'm wanting to make a pesto pasta salad for dinner one night. This is for um, iced coffee such a splurge but um, it's a nice to have a little flavoring in the iced coffee I don't use it in my hot coffee just my iced coffee which is interesting and James uses it too we were out of mayo so we got that uh, of course with pets we need carpet cleaner so we got that 
Um, we have been using more of these than I'd like to admit. So I got one of those. And then I was looking for parchment last month and didn't, they, I couldn't find it anywhere. So this is all of the stuff that we got at Hy-Vee. So that is it for another month. And let me tell you, I am so happy it's done for today. It has been a totally stressful day between once a month grocery shopping today, um, going back out in the field today and seeing some customers and just all the stuff. There's a lot of stuff for me to do um, even yet for work. And so, um, I've been having to submit reports and things like that. So anyway, it's late in the day. It's like 5.30. I'm still not done with work. I have to put this stuff away. It is our anniversary and nothing is done for that. I don't have my gift wrapped or anything. Luckily, James is totally laid back about that stuff. He doesn't really care. So um, it has been a hectic, very stressful day and what a day to get back into the field what a day to get back into working outside the house and just feeling very discombobulated so but this is done this shopping trip is done for the whole month um we're not needing to go back for anything and i am so grateful it's over Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like what you're seeing here at the Squirrel House, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what is what it's like shopping in your area. What are you doing? Are you ordering online? Are you going into stores? And are you having stressful days just like I did today, um, trying to manage all the expectations of this life that we are all living? So let me know what you're thinking. And if you're liking what you're seeing here at the Squirrel House, go ahead and subscribe. Make it a great day, and until next time from the Squirrel House, see you later.